All right, everybody. So you have done three thumbnail sketches and you have chosen your favorite sketch to turn into a mascot. Now, when we draw the sketch as a mascot, we need to draw in three poses. There's going to be a frontal pose, a side view pose, and a action pose. Now, if I look at my thumbnail sketch, this is more in an action pose. He's got his hand on his hip. He's kind of leaning forward. His hand is coming out, offering some food. There is action happening. And that's great. That means doing my third drawing will be much easier. But today I want to just focus on drawing our mascots in a frontal pose. Okay, and that is what's going to be due next. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw this character and I'm going to be drawing it in a frontal pose. And as I draw, I'm also going to be thinking about the quality of the drawing, making sure all parts are the correct proportions, the correct angles, that I have neat line work and it is my best drawing possible. I'm going to think about developing my character further, um, what needs to be more refined, what does it need, what do I need to add to it, how can I make it more creative, more mascot-like, thinking about that mascot criteria of things being um, energetic and engaging and fun and welcoming, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do, ooh, sorry, is I'm gonna create a line here. And I know that my mascot is gonna be about, I want it to be at least six inches. So I'm just gonna create a line up here as well. So I know kind of like about the height. So here's my tabletop. And I'm doing a frontal view of the, so I'm gonna start with the body. Or I could start up here with the head, but because of the broccoli, I'm gonna start with the body and I'm sketching it in knowing I'm gonna clean this up. Now, then I need to decide, I'm looking at this drawing still, right? Because I wanna capture that. Okay, so I'm drawing the stalks of the broccoli, just like I did in the first one. So I'm redrawing, but now you can see if I draw a line down the center, it needs to be mostly symmetrical on all sides, meaning equal weight, okay? Then I wanna come in and I wanna draw, and it's okay if it's gonna get taller than six inches, you just don't want it smaller. And I'm thinking about what is that broccoli look like and I know I'm going to turn this into a hat but I want to draw it first what needs to come out okay then I'm going to think about okay there's the chef's hat so how if I'm doing that in a frontal view how would that wrap around okay. so again symmetrical that's that center line is really important to put in to check your work. And as I'm drawing, I'm gonna start refining and cleaning it up with my eraser. Okay. I'm gonna shade that in on the side so it looks like it's wrapping around. Okay, and then if this were a hat, make it more chef hat so I don't need all these things but I still want it to look kind of like a broccoli just not as much okay. I'm cleaning this up sorry that my table is shaking my camera and you want to be on a whole new piece of paper. Okay. And I'm going to put in some shading as I go along as needed, not required. But if it helps your drawing, go ahead and do it. And remember not to draw too dark so that you're, when you erase. Okay. 
this is problematic for me up here. I'm going to have to come back to this, I think. But, okay, I'm getting a good start. Then I want to make sure this is straight. A slight bend is actually going to maybe help this. And then I've got to remember my eyes. Where's the base of my eyes? So I'm going to say my eyes are here. And then my nose. So as you can see, everything's going to line up in this area. And I want to play with the eye shape a little. When I did my thumbnail sketch, I didn't have like my eyes totally planned out the way I wanted them to. So this is a good time for me to really focus on the face. I'm putting these little curves under so the eyes um, look like they're sitting on like kind of cheeks. So there's the general shape of the eyes. Still coming over the hat. And maybe I want to give him eyelids here. So now I'm really planning out the details in my character. Giving an eyebrow. And I want really round, happy eyes. Shade it in, put a little reflection in that eye. And symmetry, I'm going to want these eyes to be about the same as best I can. Right. Be careful about pupil size. Don't want to look too scared or too um, sleepy. Okay. And then I'm going to bring these around. Bring these eyelids around. And I can even give some eyelashes there, if need be. Mm, I'm not sure about the eyelashes. I'll come back to that. But I want to get this eyelid and eyebrow. And I'm going to change the nose just so it's a little bit chipper. So I'm going to put it like a little to the side there. And then I'm going to make a big smile. And I'm going to keep the smile, if you can see similar to this one where it's a little bit of a, like a crooked smile so one side's more open and higher than the other and I'm still curious if I need teeth I think it's weird to have broccoli have teeth I don't know And put a little shading on the eyelids. I don't like the teeth, I don't think. I think I'm going to leave it for now and come back to that. Now, I need to think about where the shoulders are. The shoulders are kind of lined up with the corner of the mouth here. Okay. And he's wearing an apron, so I want to bring that apron around. And typical me, drew this too short again. So, apron's wrapping around. And it comes around. Here's the other strap. Here's the other shoulder. Something you can do for shoulders is you can um, make a circle and then for the arm, bring it down and then kind of put 
the hand in as a shape as well. Okay, and then bring the apron out. And again, I still have that symmetry. I think this needs to come down a little bit more. Okay, so I'm refining as I go. Getting the shape of the neck of the apron there. Getting the side of the head there. Okay. And then I can kind of come in here and get the width of the arms. Thinking about like, are they skinny? I would never give like broccoli, like big muscular arms necessarily. Doesn't seem to go. And then what kind of hand? I'm going to put them in wearing oven mitts kind of hands. I think that would maybe help. Remember your thumbs are on the inside of your hand, so if you're giving them a little thumb. And I want the mitts to kind of be bigger there. And wrap around. Okay. And still revising and refining as I go. I want to kind of Make that, you know how chefs wrap the rope of their apron towards the front and make it off to the side a little bit. Okay, and then I had a pocket up here, but I realize aprons usually have pockets down here. So that kind of plays on that asymmetry. So we've got this and this equaling it out. I think this is a little thick. The apron's gonna take some finessing, right? I'm gonna keep, this is the part that I'm gonna keep coming back to till I get it right. And the pencil I'm using is a little bit hard leaving lines behind so just be aware of what you're drawing with and the pressure you're putting on your thing and then the mitt would come like this again trying to make them equal um, I'm not loving the expression yeah he looks a little goofy to me so I, I want to play with that a little bit more um, when I have some time I want to get just a frontal view shown to you is this mitt too big compared to that one this one's a little bit in front of his body just in this pose but I think it's like a little bit too large and bring this make it smaller so again I'm paying attention to that symmetry with that frontal pose making things about the same size and shape on both sides as best I can. This is a little bit further behind his body. Okay. This is wrapping around and we see the underside of it back there. This is wrapping around like so. Okay. I might wanna bring this down just a little bit more. It seems a little short for a chef's apron. That's better. And then bring this line down. Where does it come to? 
bring this line down. Does it come to? Again, I've got that center line. I had to tilt it up to see. I drew, because I'm drawing on camera, I'm afraid I tilted him a little bit too much. But we'll see. Okay. Some detail there. Put some shading under the arm there. There. Okay. And then I want to come back to these eyes. I think I like the shape of them. It was just the interior eye. I'm going to play with the positioning of those eyes. Ooh, that's even worse. Looks like he's rolling his eyes at us. So I'm just gonna keep playing with the position of these eyes until I get it right. And that's why it's good to kind of have an example of an eye um, to kind of know what you want it to look like so you have less trial and error like I'm experiencing here. But that's going to happen from time to time. I could put like the little rat from Ratatouille in his pocket. That might be cute. I'm going to not do that right now. I don't want to take up too much of your time. So... I'm just going to unround the eyes. I think that was part of the problem. And yeah, that's a little more friendly. All right, um, I would keep working on this, revising and refining and playing with it. But I know you guys don't want to watch me draw forever. You want to get to your drawings, but this I hope gives you an idea of how to draw from the front. Remember that line down the center is key. In a frontal view, things are symmetrical. Okay. Um, you want to, if you want to add a little bit of shading, you may. Okay. So I'm going to keep playing with these eyes. They're not my ideal, but I'm going, I'll show you that in class. I hope this helps you figure out. Remember, you want your Mascot to be engaging and warm and personable. My eyes are still not making it that way. I will show you the final product once I figure out these eyes. All right, happy drawings. Um, symmetrical line, same on both sides. Standing up, facing forward, that's the goal. And also meeting that mascot criteria, expressive, encouraging, confident, fun, eye-catching, and so forth.